It is Manchester United 1. Big bad Wolverhampton nil. Manchester United collecting three points. A return for the Premier League. Yes, not like last time where Manchester United lost against Brighton and, and, and Munich and all that kind of stuff. No, today was different. We beat the big bad wolf. They came down here. They huffed and puffed, you know, as much as they can. With 25 shots against us, as much as they can, they could have blown this house down. Because why? Rafael Varane came to the rescue to make it 1-0 to Manchester United. And this died in the second half as well, guys. Do you know what, guys? Overall, you, you, I'm fed up. Do you know why I'm fed up, guys? Because, of course... Manchester United could have done a better than what they expected to do, especially after us waiting about what throughout the whole weekend, waiting, waiting after everyone's played, and then it came to Monday Night Football when the onus was on Manchester United, when the floodlight shined on Manchester United, and the whole world was watching Manchester United perform poorly. The first forty-five minutes, guys, we was rubbish, rubbish, guys, giving away cheap possession. As well, and, and on top of that, create little nothing against Wolverhampton's goalkeeper. Uh, he did absolutely nothing. And our passes were super sloppy. Those Hollywood passes coming from Manchester United. I don't know what you guys do in training. I really don't know. Every time I'm probably watching you thinking, this is not what I done, trained you. And this is not what I taught you in training. Like, seriously, huh? Huh? This is not what I taught you in training, huh? Clear? None of this was clear to the Manchester United because our midfield was poor. This Mount, Bruno, and Casemiro, boy, we were lucky to get with it. And Mount, I don't know where he was throughout the whole game. He created nothing. He did nothing. He was just there to just to run the spaces. You know, as always, run the gr green grass, eat as much grass as he can, do as much kilometers as he can, um, sprint the long distance, sprint the most out of everyone else, but absolutely contribute nothing towards the game. That midfield was poor, guys, and I'm really worried about that. But it's only the first game. When the second half came in, again, Manchester United continued with the same nonsense. Wolves should have had goals, guys, in the first half and in the second half. We were so lucky. You know, I don't see things that we need to see. But one thing that we can say that's positive, Manchester United won possession back in the first half a lot of times. But that second half, guys, was the same as the first half. Was not, imp sorry, was not impressed at all um, but our goal came after Wolves had so many chances uh, a nice chip ball over to Anwan Bissaka and Anwan Bissaka to just cross it in and Rafael Varane Rolls Royce that defender Mr. Champions League with a header to make it 1-0 for Manchester United in that second half and of course we was going crazy we was happy we was like yeah finally finally we got a goal you know you know our hearts can circle down now we didn't stay up all this night we didn't miss our dinner because of this nonsense but we we got that goal in and Manchester United fan was in rapture. I was pleased with the goal, but in terms of the whole performance, I was not pleased. I'm glad to get the goal in. The goal was worked well, and we was we was poaching. You know, Sancho coming on as well made a difference, guys, and I'm happy about that. Sancho was on Stardust Magic today, but overall, Manchester United winning the one goal to nil. In my opinion, we was shit, and we didn't deserve to actually win. You know, we we got lucky at times. I think we should have just drawn or lost the game. But hey, we take this 1-0 win because it's better than last season. At least we've done something better than what we did last season, the first game. Got a clean sheet and we scored and we won the game. So that's three points down, one game to go. One game down, one game out. We continue to move on, guys. Player-wise today, in my personal opinion, I'm looking at Gnacho and I'm looking at Rashford. I'm looking at Mason Mount and I'm looking at Bruno Fernandes. Some of our key players were absolutely dog shit. They was Doo -doo, pants shit at times you know really frustrated me especially Garnacho being like a championship player at times in that first 45 minutes giving the ball away frustrated as well Bruno with his frustrating Hollywood passes giving the ball away not just not doing the right things and Marcus Rashford I keep telling you guys you do not want to put Rashford up front he's back towards goal is poor he's not a striker he should be playing on the left wing but hey, you guys want to keep continuing this? I'll be honest with you, I'm not feeling this. I can't wait for us to get Rashmush Hoyland fit so we can have a proper number nine. 
playing up front and leading the line. Even Martial, as well, although he probably get injured by the time he finish watches the the game and gets changed for the showers and goes home. To be honest with you, he probably got injured during the showers, even though he didn't play or the warm down, whatever it is. But it is what it is, man. In terms of Sancho coming on, Stardust. Sancho made a difference when he came on, you know, creating opportunities, creating chances and all that kind of stuff, you know, he's heavily involved in the goals as well. I mean, the goal itself. But big up to him, man. I, I'm really, really happy because, you know what, I doubt the false nine situation, but you know what, he's really motivated to come on. He made a difference today as well. Man, the match today, guys, has to go to the goal scorer, Ferran. He done well in terms of getting the goal in. Don't give the match, Mason Mount, you are horrible. I don't know what Eric Ten Hag was thinking signing him, but I'm looking at him like this. Side eye, my face turned upside down, frown face, like, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? You better know what you're doing. But Duncan match has to go to Mount. Manchester United fans, first game, three points. We can be happy about the points, but the performance was not good enough. It needs to get better. You know what I mean, guys? Guys, you guys let me know what your ma your your thoughts are on the game. Your man of the match of the game and your dunk of the match in the comments as well, guys. And also remember to tune in at 9 p.m. for the catch-up, which is usually on a Monday at 8 p.m., but it's on uh, at 9 p.m. tomorrow. We all will be reflecting with the guys. And, of course, we've got the watch-along on Saturday against Tottenham Cox Spurs. You get what I mean, guys. But, as always, got Thursday as well, 5 five o'clock live for your latest manchester united news and what's going on across manchester united but guys this has been your match reaction your boy ivory spice as always guys smash that like button share across all social media platforms as well put your thoughts in the comments as well and become a member join ready night tv join the community it is what it is guys your boy is out peace out Boop -boop.